Disclaimer! The following is a parody of CinemaSins Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humour, I suggest you go watch their content first. The intent of this video is for comedy and entertainment purposes only. With this in mind, you should know that the feelings of the creator of this video towards the game in question will not be accurately reflected here. That being said, the creator has no intention of offending anyone involved with the game's creation, its franchise, the game itself, or the people who like the game. Without further ado, thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy. Sonic Team. What the fuck? I'm sorry, I didn't know I was playing a horror game. Ah, yes, because all British children go to sleep with a football as their waifu. Wait, don't you have to wear a uniform for practice? Yeah, these kids are wearing uniforms, why isn't this one? You could say he's not part of the team, but then what's the point of using the cones? We interrupt Night's Journey of Dreams to bring you Silent Hill. Dad? What? No, wait, no, what? I get this might be a dream, but I want to know how the car turning into a plane looked. That must have been quite a spectacle. Holy shit, I am playing a horror game! I take it that this is your first time here. Whoa. I am Owl. Yes, I have lived you here are. Since Seriously, can people not come up with original names when naming their animal characters? Okay, no offense, Owl, but could you please land so that we don't have to hear your uncomfortable wings fapping? I mean, flapping. Dualize. Oh, dualizing allows your bodies to assimilate with one another. Ah, it's probably much easier to understand if you just try it. Go over and touch knights. You'll see what I mean. Oh my god! That was all one huge allegory for sex! These are just human chow, and I'm 100% not okay with that. If you can get into the cell and then duelize with knights, the both of you will be able to escape. Really? Ah, yes, of course. The effect will not last long, however. You'll need to get the keys back from the guards before being dragged back to the cell. Um, Owl? Will's just a kid. You expect him to go all solid snake even though he just got to the night dimension. What in the f***? Retrieve the remaining four, Idia, and your heart will win out over the nightmare. Gee, no pressure of anything. I mean, is there? You can just go back to the real world, can't you? By all means, you're still asleep, right? I know this is all technically real, but how does that work? The transition between night dimension to the human dimension. Suddenly tentacle. I'm not letting you do that. Tisk tisk. The visitor's life is in my hands. You can just stay right where you are. <laughs> that's a good boy. I think you mean that's a good non-gender specific person. Knights doesn't have a gender. That being said, I think it's a girl, but that's just me. Next sin! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh man, I didn't see what happened and where this cage came out of. Wait, what? I suppose I only need to bring you back to Master Wiseman. But not until I get rid of this meddling little visitor once and for all. Then why didn't you kill him, you fool? You had him in your grasp! In fact, that was the only reason Knights didn't do anything! So, does Will just keep going in circles? Is it a really long hallway? What? You're the first human being I've seen in this world. No, I was sent here from another world. What accent do you have? Is it English or American? Friend, I've got to hurry and get back to my own world. Your friend? Yeah. He's waiting for me to help him. They're waiting for me to help him. <clears throat> it's the door. No shit. 
Okay, creepy clown ball, check. Creepy chameleon dressed up as a magician, check. I will said that the reason this world is so lonely is because of my heart. If that's true, then I need to become stronger. That way, everyone in Nightopia will be stronger too. <laughs> that's right. But why? Why is it dependent on you? I thought Nightopia was considered a real place people go to when transitioning through their dreams, but if its existence and state depend on how you are individually, then wouldn't that mean this is all exclusively in Will's head? Oh dear, but the nightmarens have collapsed part of a cliff, and the rubble is blocking the tracks. What? And, and, when they crash into it... Okay, okay, don't panic. Just leave this to us. Okay, Will. You asked to see some more of my power. Oh my god! Stop you talking and just it. go! Well, well done, knights. I... I yield. Hey. Are you alright? <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know what- oh, Are you kidding me? This again? Did you really think that I could lose to the likes of you? Don't make me laugh. Great. We win, but we don't win. A whole horde of nightmarens are attacking! What?! They want to use the city as a base for their invasion of Nightopia! <laughs> what do you want to do, Will? It looks like your city is in danger. If it's in danger... Stop talking and just go! You're going there anyway! Look! It's Octopaw! Why is it called Octopaw when it only has six tentacles? Wouldn't that make it a Hexapaw? They're not even paws. Where are we? This is my dream world. It looks like you've wandered into my world this time. Wait, what? So, this version of Nightopia is purely based off of Will's perception of it. So, it's not real. We could leave the night dimension and there would be little consequence. Fools, you think to defy a god. It's... it's Wiseman! How would you know? That was nice, Journey of Dreams. Can I go now? to the end. That which I have created I can just as easily destroy. So be Black Doom! That's who this guy reminds me of. Oh, finally. Whoa, 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 wait, what? Huh? Okay. <laughs> wow. Will's dad looks super happy to be with his son. It's bad enough he looks like a goddamn Team America puppet. Wait, you mean to tell me this isn't a dream? When the f*** has children's soccer games attracted this amount of people? God damn. Also, this is confusing as hell. Will plays for Team Half Moon, right? You can see his name on the scoreboard matches the name on his jersey, and you can see the opposing team, Team Sunvan's logo on the other kids' shirts, but... Why are Team Half Moon's outfits red and yellow and Team Sunvan's are blue and black? Shouldn't it be the other way around? That's what they look like on the scoreboard. I think this kid is having a seizure. Somebody should check that out. What? They got Knight's voice actress's name wrong! Holy shit! I know nothing about this game, but I know her name's Julissa Aguirre, not Julissa Aguirre. I'm sorry. Holy f I'm serious, this could have easily been Sega's next horror game. Knight's here is able to dualize with visitors. The process allows your bodies to assimilate with one another. What do you mean? Ah, it would probably be much easier to understand if you just try it. Go over and touch knights. You'll see what I mean. That is, of course, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Oh my god, that was so f***ing allegory for sex! They knew what they were doing! You know, for a... whatever knights is, they have a pretty nice ass. This is a sin, of course, because a kid's game shouldn't be making me notice that sort of shit. You see that dark ocean over there? You'd be best off if you don't go anywhere near it. You mean that... that ocean over there? With the black water? No, you mean that dark ocean over there? The one Knights just explicitly referred to by name and pointed to? Also, it's a f***ing ocean there aren't many places to get confused with? Normally, they act 
rather bright and cheerful, but they must be very scared of the nightmares at this moment. The poor things. According to them, Knights is being held in that prison over there. What the f do you mean, according to them? Can't you see that Knights is trapped in there yourself? Knights is like 20 feet away from you! That red idea is enough to take care of this cage. Come on, climb up here using that chain. Let's show these guys we mean business. So, why isn't the Knight Marin who's guarding the cage doing anything? They're literally on top of the cage, and I highly doubt it can't hear Helen and Knights talking. So, if you die in the dream dimension, do you die for real? Because if so, yeah, no, Helen's dead. And Goofy Snake Witch, check. Nightopia is a world that mirrors the heart of a visitor. That means it was your heart that created this place, Helen. So, it's not real. If Nightopia only exists as long as Helen's sleeping and dreaming, what happens to the place when no one's around? Is it just... nothing? Okay, I was on board until that happened. Have you, or have you not, seen knights wear a mask like mine? <gasps> this mask here is called a persona. You never see it come <laughs> it looks like you've wandered into my world this time. Ah, that burst of light. It must have sent me here. Burst of light? That looked like a portal of darkness, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. You need to believe in your friends, Helen. You said you were good friends, right? Then you've got to believe in them. If you trust in your friend, then that trust is sure to get through. Maybe this is why you and I ran into each other again. Well, thank you. I... I'll try to keep that trust, because we are friends. Yeah! I get that these stories are supposed to be happening simultaneously, but does that mean there are two different knights? I don't think knights would be able to juggle both Will and Helen at the same time. A boy? You mean to say you've met another visitor? Well, yes. Is that all right? Oh. Hmm. Well, typically, visitors are unable to encounter one another while in their respective worlds. I fear that this may be an ill omen for this world. Well... Since a visitor's memory fades away after waking up, it may not be an issue. See, this is kind of what I'm talking about. This pretty much confirms that there are two versions of the Night Dimension characters, meaning that what happens in these worlds is really of little consequence. Wow, this concert hall is just like the one in my town. You know, I play the violin, actually. I'm pretty good at it, too. Even Helen, who was way more English-sounding than Will, has changed her accent. What? <sighs> Wait, you went to sleep with hairpins and a ponytail? Why? There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but aren't you kind of damaging your hair? Hold up, how old is Helen supposed to be? They make it seem like her and her mom got to the concert separately, but why? Wouldn't her mom take her to the concert if they were supposed to be going together? I understand responsibility, independence and all, but I don't think Helen's old enough to be doing things on her own yet. What was the point of having a ponytail then? You clearly changed clothes, hell, your hairpin isn't the same. Why would you get a ponytail just to take it off before the concert? Come on, let's show them what our courage can do. Yeah, that was the only idiot that mattered, wasn't it? Think about it, did we ever do anything with the other ideas? We just collected them and that's it. The red idea of courage helped Will and Helen fly without knights and even rescue knights a bunch of times when they got captured. Uh. 
Okay, in Will's perspective, this is kind of cute. He stumbles upon Helen by chance, hearing her play Dreams Dreams, and someone happened to turn off all the lights. But from Helen's perspective, this is terrifying. Who turned off the lights in the middle of her playing the violin? Where did her mom go after the lights turned off? We never see her in either Will nor Helen's perspective after that. Hey guys, Charai5 here. Thanks so much for watching my Cinnamon 6 parody of Everything Wrong with Knights, Journey of Dreams. Never played this since I was never too interested in Knights, but seeing the cutscenes and hearing the music, I'm intrigued. Maybe I'll pick it up someday. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon. If you'd like to be featured in future Everything Wrong with parodies and what I've thought about, then consider helping me out a little each month. To those who already do support me, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I parody. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out Everything Wrong with Super Monkey Ball? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Charai5, signing off. Ah, uh, yes, because all British children go to sleep with the football in their... <laughs> as their waifu. Why is it called Octopaw when it only has six tentacles? Wouldn't that make it a hexapaw? They're not even paws. <laughs> oh my god, that was so f***ing allegory for sex! They knew what they were doing! How, much, how many... Oh my god, that's a lot of eardrums I just popped. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was rude. <laughs> this is a sin, of course, because a kid's game shouldn't be making... Ugh. Yeah. Yeah.